24. All right, now to the latest on a story we've been following for months now. A Connecticut father charged in the death of a hotel worker in the Caribbean during a family vacation. He is scheduled to be back in court today. It's a case that's getting the attention of lawmakers including President Trump. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez is here with more on this. Good morning. Hey, guys. Good morning. Now, despite returning to Anguilla for previous hearings, it is unclear if Scott Hapgood, who's facing a manslaughter charge, is back on the Caribbean island this morning. It comes as new information from the defense raises questions about what may have led to the victim's death. Critical new evidence emerging in the death of a hotel worker on the Caribbean island of Anguilla. American Scott Hapgood is scheduled to appear at a hearing this morning. He's charged in the death of Kenny Mitchell at a high-end resort last spring. All we wanted to do was vacation as a family. This nightmare is my new reality. According to Hapgood, Mitchell showed up at his hotel room similar to this one, saying he needed to fix a broken sink. But once inside, he says the worker tried to rob him at knife point. Hapgood insists he acted in self-defense and pleaded for justice at a rally in his home state of Connecticut last month. I go back and forth to Inguila in the face of significant dangers to make sure that the facts come out because the hard science shows what really happened. The original death certificate for Mitchell listed suffocation and blunt force trauma as causes of death, but an expert hired by the defense who analyzed a new autopsy says Mitchell had twice the lethal level of cocaine in his system. NBC News cannot confirm the authenticity of the new autopsy on which the defense based its findings. A toxicology report obtained by NBC News shows the drug, as well as marijuana and alcohol, was in his system. Hapgood, the father of three, now receiving bipartisan support in the U.S., a group of senators sending a letter to Secretary of State Mike Pompeo asking the State Department to ensure that Mr. Hapgood's safety is secured in Anguilla. I've seen Trump help Americans in peril around the globe, and we really need his help. My husband is a loving man. He's never been involved in any sort of... Uh, you know, charge at all. We, we don't, we're so fish out of water right now. All we want to do is take a vacation with our children. A TV appearance by his wife also grabbing the attention of President Trump, who tweeted, something looks and sounds very wrong. I know Anguilla will want to see this case be properly and justly resolved. Two countries now watching, waiting to see what happens next. So, Gabe, what's the importance of, of today's court hearing? Well, a magistrate, yeah, a magistrate is uh, set to decide whether this will move to a jury trial. And the family, they say that they have faced intense criticism on the island, that they've gotten multiple death threats. So the defense feels it might be tough to seat an impartial jury mm -hmm. on the Caribbean island. Gabe Gutierrez for us. Keep us posted, buddy. Thank you.